Hello everyone, welcome back for another car wash video. Uh, we are in Stony Creek today. Uh, right off the QEW highway that runs between uh, Hamilton and Niagara Falls. And it's the Fruitland uh, Road cutoff. And we are at a Shell gas station. And talk about a ripoff price for a car wash. I got the ultimate and it was uh, 17 uh, 16.94 so say 17 bucks pretty much so very much overpriced and I can tell you right now never been here before but it's not worth the price <laughs> without even going through it I can tell you it's not worth it <laughs> it is way too much but I don't care I gotta make my subscribers happy and show them every wash that I come across that I haven't done before. So, it looks like it's gonna be a touchless wash. Ooh, and it is a laser wash 360. So, if you agree with me that a Laser Wash 360 is not worth $17, smash that like button. And let me know if you think I'm right. Been a while since I've done a 360, I think. Geez, in my last video, you heard me complaining because I've said it many times before that Esso is usually very overpriced on their washes. And here I am going to a shell, and they are even more money. We're going to do get two coats of the pre-soak. Oh, the second coat is very, very weak. It's hardly applying anything. First coat wasn't bad, but the second coat, it's almost like it's just kind of watery. Very hardly any soap you'll see on the window here. Look, it's like nothing. I think it's mainly just like a water coming out. So that's the first fault we found with it, is the second coating of pre-soak is pretty much non-existent. I'd say the rinse has pretty good pressure to it. Right, here comes the tri foam. It looks like it's going to give us good coverage. Yeah. Pretty even on both sides. And did the back window.
saying it's polishing. Oh, and it must, well, and I don't know if it was a, if there was a spot free rinse to combine with that, but the spot free rinse never lit up. Either the dryers are very weak or they're quiet, one of the two, and they're looking a little weak. I'm not getting nothing on the sides. There's no drying on the sides whatsoever. The top of my vehicle is still fairly wet. I mean, they're giving you lots of time. Looks like they gave me at least 60 or 70 seconds, but I mean, it's, it's not doing anything. I mean, they're very quiet, so there must only be like one dryer that's actually working up top. But I'll pull over here to the side and we'll have a look. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Yeah, the car is soaked. I don't know if the camera picks it up much or not from that angle, but the whole side of my car is soaking wet. There's no drying at all. No drying at all on the sides. You can even see a little bit of soap and water and that dripping there. On the back, it was only, there's like one dryer that was catching the very center of the car because the, the out sides are, uh, still really wet and a little bit of drying down the middle up across the top yeah this side's all soaked as well my car was uh, pretty clean before it was uh, really clean before I even went in so as far as how well it did cleaning I have no idea because I really never never really got a good test but the car is wet now the only other question is, is did I get a uh, spot-free rinse? I hear some of my subscribers tell me that uh, so they, sometimes they'll combine the spot-free rinse with the uh, polish and that. But uh, I'm going to be heading home right now and I'm going to be hitting, heading on the highway. And so that will wipe out a lot of the, the water and that as I'm driving. So we'll, uh, when, I get, when I get home, I'll uh, do another film around, the, uh, film around the outside of the car and that will see if it left any spots and stuff. But uh, anyways, let me know what you th uh, think in the comments below. Um, but I'll be back in a second as soon as I get home. And we'll uh, see what the outside looked then. Alright, stay tuned. Alright everyone, made it back home. And I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up or not. But uh, either I didn't get... You can see the spots on the mirror. Either I didn't get a spot free rinse at all. Or it did a horrible job. Hopefully the camera can see that along the windows. Lots and lots of spots. Even on the windshield I didn't use. Uh, yeah, you can see them on the back. Hopefully the camera picks it up. It's not going to really show on the white paint. The white paint seems to hide everything. Although there you can... I don't know, let me see. If you can see on the tip of my finger. There, there's some spots. But yeah, everything gets hidden in the on the white paint but uh, yeah so either it didn't do a spot free rinse or it was uh, it did a bad job you can even see here spots and that was even after going on the highway so anyways let me know what you think in the comments below if you like that wash or not uh, personally I think it was a rip off for the price uh, the second coating of um, the second coating of uh, geez, pre soak, there we go, that's the word. Uh, it was pretty much non existent. The dryers were horrible, and uh, I think I got ripped off on the spot free rinse. So, anyways, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.